Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another away day vlog with Newcastle today. This is actually the first of four in the next seven days. I can't believe I'm seeing that four away games in seven days. There's a lot of travel to be done. We are starting off over here in Storbridge. So for those who don't know where Storbridge is, it is actually outside of Birmingham. So for those who are traveling down from Newcastle, it would have been a good four hour drive to get here. However, I'm fortunate enough in hindsight where well, I got myself down south the entire week. So it took me about two hours to get here, which isn't too bad. Of course, Chelsea are more the men. Then we have Man City be traveling up to Manchester and going back down for the girls again next Sunday in their biggest league match of the season against Wolves. For me, a title winning game. If they win that match, the competition's gone. You beat the hard teams. There's nobody on paper that Newcastle can lose to. You still got to respect the league. Teams like Storbridge today still got to respect these sides, but on paper, these teams just just aren't as good as Newcastle, so logically we should win the games. Still got to do the work though. Big match. All the teams in the league are playing today. Our game is just about on. Uh, it was nearly called off. Trust me, once you get over there, you'll realise how bad the pitch actually is. It is a, a terrible pitch that's just been called on from the referee. So I'm quite thankful it's happening. So let's get out there, let's get the job done, let's get the three points. One five note in the reverse fixture at Kingston Park. Let's see how many goals can be scored today. And hopefully the likes of Burnley, the likes of Nottingham Forest can actually drop points. However, the lasses. Oh, first 10 seconds of the game, the keeper's already had to pull out a good saver. I tell you what, this could be a long afternoon for Stowbridge and Newcastle. We're going to be just aggressive from the, the get go. Now this is something that's going to have a bit of an impact in the game, you can see in the middle of our call, just look at the state of the pitch, the keeper's going to be slipping and sliding everywhere. We have plenty of Newcastle fans here. Go on Bridget, still live, just about cleared. One no, Georgia Gibson. The ball was brilliant, moved around there by Emma Kelly, but eventually it's bumbled around hard enough for Georgia Gibson to tap into the empty net. And I think once you score one in this kind of fixture, you're going to score way more. So it's going to get it done in the first 15 minutes. <laughs> oh. 
Na korha, ne? Oh, for the keeper. Come on, Oh, that would have been a beautiful goal if Hannah was able to get in the end of it. That's funny, Castle is so good at doing this build up play, the way to move the ball across and just pile pressure upon pressure on teams like this. It's just, it's, it's good to watch, but the only problem is when you don't score these chances, it's just, it's a bit of a flat game because it's such a gulf and difference of the two sides. The Castle are so much better than Storbridge, and that's just the, the reality, of, unfortunately. Even the Championship, I think WSL as well has this issue where the, the top and the bottom is just such a big gulf. The Premier League in most years it hasn't been too bad. I had that issue this year actually where <laughs> Sheffield United one of the worst teams I've ever seen. Burnley's equally as bad. But even then Everton you got like some wolves, you've got looting above them. They're good sides you can get points against anyone on the day. But uh, enough rambling on yeah we're still creating this pressure that's what I like to see from Newcastle. So as things stand, of course, Burnley are actually losing, which means they're a non-factor in this title race. It's only Nottingham Forest after that, whose their game has been postponed today, so they will have an extra game in hand. But the game in hand means nothing when Newcastle has the points, and that's what we're doing so far. We've got a corner now. Hopefully, we're going to get the second goal and just kill off the Storbridge side, despite what I've just said about the goal for different I've got a feeling this is the sort of team where if they do get a chance they'll probably take it and they have kept themselves in it. Honestly, yeah, if it wasn't for the couple of deflections for the first goal, Newcastle wouldn't have scored. And we need to also improve the quality a little bit as well. We haven't been playing at our I guess our best, but nah, it's alright, we're here to get the points there. That's the most important part. Here comes Bridget. One thing I will say actually about Becky and her side as well, we've got some serious players on the bench, like say Paige Bailey Gill, we've got Casey Ellison, we've got a lot of attacking threats if we need it. But we don't need it because Emma Kelly's just made it 2 0. What a goal that is! Wow, well, uh, look at the timing that is for. I, I should be a commentator, you know, that is impeccable timing. But there it is. Sunderland's captain last season, she has bagged it once again for Newcastle, and she's been a key part of. One well, of the main reasons why I, I think Newcastle will get promoted and be the the winners of the third tier of English football this season because of just this attacking quality like that. When we need it, someone would just shoot and they'll go right in the bottom corner. Fair play at Storbridge, you know, they've turned up, they give it a go, but Newcastle are just too are just better than them. That's all I can say, really. In our corner. Still alive. Oh, what a block. I think I was going in as well. Oh, that's 
so lucky for Mana. Nah, they made an instant impact. I don't know why they keep, I keep scoring the ground like a. Well, they're using two now. They should keep scoring down as if they're trying to see out a result. Saves. George has got a rebound again, though. It's been a tough day for them, but much better for us now. We're starting to get those goals away, and Georgia Gibson's having a few day in her point of view. It wasn't game well before, it certainly is now. Oh, great touch by Paige. Good goal, keeping her swell. She's done quite well to react to that, actually. She's got it again. No shot! Oh. Go on, Anna. No hat trick there. As our Black Country hospitality will always show, um, we'd like to present our opposition a player of the match. And um, today, Anthony, you can present Charlotte Potts with a bottle of white wine. Full time this afternoon for the girls. Storbridge nil, Newcastle United three. Get in there, big points on the table ahead of what are two huge games coming up in the next couple of weeks. We've got Wolves in a title winning match, in my opinion, in the league. The week after that is a cup final against Hashtag at Luton Town Stadium. So, huge couple of games for the girls. Today wasn't just about our result though, because Burnley, one of the teams that could potentially chase us down, are now out of the title race. They have dropped points to West Brom. They were losing 1-0. They managed to bring it back to 1-1, but they couldn't find the winning goal. So that means once the table updates, Newcastle will go up to 46 points. Burnley will go up to 30. Even if they win their two games in hand, they would still be 10 points by Newcastle. They've got no chance now. They're out of the title race. Not them first. On the other hand, their game was postponed. It hasn't happened at home. So they stay the same. They have an extra game in hand on Newcastle. So we still have to get our results in. But a couple more on were there. Wolves is the big one. The Wolves are a decent side. They're a team that can take points off Newcastle. All our, our fixtures. Liverpool Feds is still going to be an interesting one. But every other team Newcastle will come to be beat in my opinion. So it's just about getting those two sorted. For me, I think we'll get there. We'll see how things go Wolves next week. I don't want to jinx anything, but that result is the key one at Wolves. We'll talk about it on the day. But today wasn't an amazing performance. Newcastle got their game. I think a neutral point of view would have been a horrendous watch. I didn't think it was a great game to watch. Who cares though? We got the points. We got a good result. It was good from the girls. I'm sure Becky and uh, Andy are both happy with their players today. And the players should be happy with themselves. So I thought it was a good one. But we'll go back with Wolves next week. We've got to do Chelsea with the men tomorrow now. So we've got a busy week ahead of us. Great result though. Let's get ourselves out of here. Take care guys. See you all in the next one.